guys welcome back to Christ is King daily life if you're new here hi I'm Deborah go hit the like button go subscribe and turn on notifications you can see everything that we post go follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Christ underscore is underscore King 100 because we keep 100 over here and follow us on Facebook at Christ is King BE today for y'all I'm gonna be showing you just a few snacks that you can do that are really cheap using cream cheese so you can be the hostess with the mostest on a budget so the first one that we're going to be doing is jalapeno poppers. So, so these are the ingredients that you're going to need. We have some fresh jalapenos, cream cheese, um, you're going to need toothpicks but these were actually skewers that we cut the heads off because we didn't have toothpicks, and some bacon. So we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is set the oven to 350 um, we're going to get the pan out and then we're going to start cutting these in half and taking the seeds out you're going okay so what we did was we cut these in half we took the seeds out and then we get the cream cheese okay and you get a spoon and you fill it in there all right and then we got the strips of bacon and you cut them in half yes this is cut in half and then you're going to wrap it around Okay, maybe, maybe not. Ooh, squishy. And then you're gonna get your toothpick or makeshift toothpick, and we'll probably not do that. And then get it through, and this little end here needs to go on the end, because when it cooks, you wanna make sure that it stays wrapped around it. Then you're going to put them in the oven until the bacon is done to your liking. We like them pretty crispy. So um, we'll see you when they're done. Okay, so while your poppers are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and mix up the second one. And all you're gonna need is some cream cheese. This is Thai style sweet chili sauce. Really any kind of sauce that's kind of sweet and spicy is one that we usually use, but you can use whatever sauce you like, spicy jams, whatever. And then wheat thins. Um, usually if you wanna do it cheaper, get the great value kind. Um, or whichever cheaper ones you can find um, but they didn't have it so that's that um, so all you're gonna do is this could just gonna be a dip and all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out we're gonna put this on the plate we're gonna grab our sauce drizzle it over and you eat it with a cracker okay guys so we took the cream cheese out we only used half the block and then we drizzled the sauce on top of it now we kind of displayed it so you know you look cute and everything and so you grab one of these and I'm gonna see if I actually do it you take it off and then you take a bite and that is snack number two okay guys so for our third treat we're using cream cheese on a budget is going to be crack sticks and no it does not have any actual crack in it what we're going to be using is some bread we have soft wheat so that's what we're going to be using you're going to need cinnamon we have two bowls your cream cheese your butter and this is sugar so what you're going to do is you're going to get your bread you're going to cut off the the crust you're going to roll it down you're going to dip it in you know you're going to fill it with cream cheese then you're going to dip it in melted butter and then roll it in a cinnamon sugar you know mixture and then we're gonna put it in the oven okay y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and show you where I got a few rolled up um, how you're supposed to roll it now this one was obviously a pumped up piece we cut the edges out we used the roller and rolled it out really flat it's kind of bumping up on some places we're gonna get the cream cheese maybe hopefully so and we're going to spread it on there um, well, maybe, maybe not. Okay, well, we'll just finish that one later. Okay, so after you're done spreading that all and stuff, you're gonna get one of these. This is how it's supposed to look all pretty nice. You're gonna dip it in the butter. Okay, make sure it's good and saturated. And then you're gonna dip it in the cinnamon sugar. Okay, make sure it's good and coated. All right, then you're gonna put it on your pan and you're gonna cook them. Okay y'all, so with these end pieces that y'all cut off, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make little cinnamon crisps or whatever you wanna call them with this, with your leftover, um, obviously, crust and butter and cinnamon sugar. So you're just gonna dip them in the butter and then you're gonna dip it in the cinnamon sugar. Maybe, why every time I record, it doesn't want to act right. Okay, and then so you're just gonna cook them with your crack sticks. Okay y'all, so for our fourth, 
um, treat using cream cheese, what you're gonna need is obviously cream cheese, cucumber, bread, and your season of choice. I'm using the Badia Complete seasoning. I got this at Food Town, um, but you can use whatever you want really. Um, you can, some recipes had dill, lemon juice, um, you know, you can use Creole, you know, whatever y'all wanna use, but we're going to be making cucumber and cream cheese sandwich. Okay guys, so I'm just going to show y'all how we did the cucumber sandwich. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some cream cheese. I'm going to smear it on the bread. Why does this not want to act right? Okay. Okay, so I completely destroyed that piece of bread pretty much, um, but I did my best. I've never actually had these kind of sandwiches before, but I see them on a lot of them bougie TV shows and stuff, so, you know, we're gonna be cute, y'all. So I'm gonna get my seasoning, and I'm going to sprinkle however much y'all want. This stuff is actually really strong, so I'm not gonna do too much. Um, I've tried it before on cream cheese and bell pepper snack but we're gonna try this today now when you cut your cucumber you want it pretty thin so this is actually two they're pretty thin like that i'm just gonna kind of put them on there Let's see well a few of them i got thin. and okay so there we go we're gonna do that and then Wipe that off and then I'm going to cut it. Ooh, this is hard. Why does it keep wanting to ah, stop moving? Okay, now we only made one of these sandwiches because, like I said, we never had it, so if it's bad, we don't want to eat again. But there is your cucumber and cream cheese sandwich. Okay y'all, so now the these are the crack sticks and these are the um, the ends of the crust. There's our cucumber cream cheese sandwiches. Over there is our jalapeno poppers. Look at them, oh my goodness. And then we have our cream cheese dip. So here are some budget-friendly snacks that you can do if you just have cream cheese laying around say if someone pops up um, unexpectedly whatever the case may be you can always have some kind of treat to serve someone hey okay, guys so I hope y'all really enjoyed all those budget-friendly treats using cream cheese the scripture that I'm gonna be um, leaving with y'all today is going to be 1st Samuel 2 8 he raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash seats them with princes and has them inherit a throne of honor and this is actually the ending portion of um, Hannah's prayer and if y'all don't know who Hannah is Hannah we're in the book of Samuel so Hannah is the mother of Samuel who actually Samuel's was a miracle child she wasn't able to bear children um, and they were the her and another lady was the wife of Ephraim Samuel's dad and she prayed to the Lord and he gave her a child um, and so that is first Samuel 2 8 I'm gonna read it one more time he raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash he seats them with princes and has them inherit a throne of honor and I thought this was just a great one a great one you know especially doing a budget friendly video um, you know and well, there's so many times that we just go through hard times you know financially or whatever the case may be um, and so it's just a very encouraging scripture to let you know that God, you know, he sees your needs. He know, He's going to uplift the Bible. And another scripture always um, also says that the last will be first and the first will be last. And so this is an encouraging scripture I'd like to leave you all with. Um, Father God, I thank you for whoever's watching this. I thank you um, for the the different um, ideas and budget friendly things you've given us. I hope that this helps and encourages anyone who's watching this and I praise you and I glorify you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And y'all have a blessed day.